welcome or welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Corey and this is KRP Models. And this is my NSCO Mojave subdivision layout. Well, today I'm going to be doing something that every model river loves to do is ballasting track. <laughs> ballasting track is a pretty intimidating task and probably the number one most procrastinated thing on anybody's model railroad. But I do hope the techniques I show you in this video might help you out a little bit and maybe motivate you to start ballasting. But before we begin, I do want to encourage you to subscribe and hit that bell icon so you don't miss future videos. So let's get started. Alright, so here's the section of the main line I'll be weathering and ballasting today. Starting here. All the way down to the switches just underneath my bridge and I've done several things here in preparation for this video for one I've removed the ugly looking switch machines the only problem with that if you're not familiar with uh, doing so it does leave a big gap with your ties but I'll show you how to remedy that in this video here and I've also soldered a lot of the track together solder some feeder wires and I did put some ground cover parallel to the tracks because I do like having my ballast sit on the ground cover as opposed to my ground cover sitting on the ballast. I first began by fixing the problem with the missing ties on the switches. I cut off some ties just after the spike and glued them in place. Using some alcohol pads, I clean the ties and the rails, removing all the oils and dirt. This helps the track painting pins from clogging up. And also using a Q-tip soaked in isopropyl alcohol, I go over the spots where I've soldered the track. Next with the Woodland Scenic track painting pin wooden tie, after shaking with the cap on for one minute, I depress the tip. Draw out the paint. And begin to paint the ties. Doing one by one. You can also run the pen parallel down the tracks, but it does wear out the tip a lot quicker. Not to worry, the track painting pen comes with an extra tip. I just find this method works best for me. Next, using steel rail, I begin to paint the rails, making sure to get nice even coverage, and using my fingers to wipe off the top of the rail. I continue painting all the rails until I'm happy with the result, and we are soon ready for some ballast. If you happen to have an old track painting pen that you were considering throwing away like I do here, well don't. I like to cut them open and empty the remaining paint into jars. I find this very useful for getting into the harder reach places where the track painting pens can't reach on the switches. And with proper storage, the paints will last indefinitely. As you can see here, the drawer on the right is some steel rail from a pen I cut open over a year ago and still working just fine. To match my existing ballast, I begin to mix up some fine gray blend and fine light gray. Once satisfied with the match, I begin to pour out some ballast, working in one to two foot sections at a time. I try to keep it uniform and not pour too much. Using a brush with a slight angle on it, Begin working in between the rails, pulling the ballast in one direction, and running the brush on the inside of the rails to kick out the ballast, and continue pulling in one direction. 
And to help level out the ballast in between the ties, I run my finger up and down, repeating this process until all the ballast is nice and level. Next I begin working on the outside of the rail, pulling the ballast in one direction, clearing off the ties. I use a foam brush to flatten out the windrail. It is important to keep the brush level with the ties to not push more ballast back in towards the rail. I repeat the same technique and using the foam brush again, I flatten down the slope using a slight downward motion, pulling the ballast down away from the ties. I continue the same techniques for the ballast in between the two tracks. And continue the same process all the way down my main line. Now ballasting is a very tedious and time consuming task. But I find if you play some good tunes, crack one of your favorite beverages, you'll find that ballasting still sucks. Once I have the ballast nearly complete, I use a metal spoon to tamper the ballast down. And for the switches, I use a brush and clear off all the ballast, working my way back and forth. And using the metal spoon again to tamper the ballast away making it nice and level. I also use a hobby knife to clear the points and wiggle all the ballast out making sure it works correctly. And with some finishing touches that completes the ballasting. Now I'm ready to glue all this down. begin with some 50% isopropyl alcohol and Woodland Scenic Scenic Cement and begin soaking the ballast. Using isopropyl alcohol is ideal. It helps the Scenic Cement to soak into the ballast without cooling or running. Working my way down the rails. Once complete, I let it dry, and with a diluted mixture of black paint, I begin to weather the ties. Now I'm going for a heavily used mainline, making sure to get even coverage. Next with some Bragdon weathering powders, Brian Gray. I put the finishing touches. Now with everything complete, I use a bright boy to clean the top of the rails. And I'm ready to run some trains. And that completes the video. But before you leave, let's watch my locomotive start up and run down the brand new ballasted track. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you on the next one.